Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Chu and today I'm going to be telling you a story time of the worst day of my life. By the way, just let me know how you like this new recording setting. I am in my family room right now and I'm recording off a lav mic. So we'll see how that goes. So today while I'm talking, I'm also going to be eating my lunch. So as you can see, if this will zoom in. I have crackers, um, these are peppers, yellow and red peppers, and then I have some tuna and some mango salad. Okay. It's actually spicy. Okay. So, the story begins back when I was 16. So this was five years ago. I'm now 21. So when I was 16, like most 16 year olds, I went and got my G1. If you don't know what that is, in Ontario, or in Canada at least, um, we have this system where we get our driver's licenses. Um, you first get your G1, which is a written test. Then you get your G2, which is a driving test. And then you get your G, which includes a highway test. And that's your full license. So. In between these, you have to wait about a year. So you start with your G1, then you go to your G2, and then you get your G. And I got my G1 at 16 because I was excited. I was like, yeah, let's let's start driving. And I passed it. I think I got perfect on it. It was five years ago, so I don't really remember. So, then fast forward about three years, three, four years. So I didn't get my G2 one year after my G1. I actually waited for a few years because my parents just didn't want to pay for driving lessons. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll just pay for them myself. So I worked at a part-time job. And then when I was, I think 20, if not 19, I got my G2. And that process in itself was also not easy. So I was confident going into it. I drove, my dad drove me an hour away to go to this drive test center. As we're waiting, uh, I go out to the car to wait because you're supposed to sit in your car and then the driving instructor or tester comes to you. And so they come into the car and they tell me to, you know, start the engine, turn on all the lights and they check the headlights. And they check the headlights, they check the back lights and then they came back in the car and they told me that you need to take another test. And I was like, what? So apparently, one of my one of the my dad's car's headlights was not working so we drove an hour away to get that message we drove nine minutes away to go to a mechanic who fixed our lights easily done and then really excitedly we went back to the center and we were like yeah that's so much time we have so much time to get this done so we go in and then I check in for another drive test for my G2 and as we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting and I'm pretty sure I was like near to um, getting my second test done and then as we're waiting we hear the lady at the front desk like say mm, everyone the server in all drive tests are down so if you were intending on getting anything done today you probably will have to come back tomorrow or try again another time and so we were like oh my god goodness okay we drove an hour to get here we had all those problems we drove to get our headlights fixed but that's fine it doesn't work that's fine another day dying inside and so we go away and then i'm gonna eat food I don't know how other YouTubers eat and then talk at the same time. Like, Stephanie Sue is amazing. Okay. So, we waited for another day. But if you know, to book appointments, in Ontario at least, it is very hard. This was during the summertime. So, during the summer, driving test centers are packed. Like, their appointments are filled. Like, you have to wait months and months and months. So... Instead of getting in the summer, I think I did mine in like September, I want to say. 
as you can imagine that's a lot of waiting if you're waiting like in june or july and you gotta wait until september so i was really upset but anyway waiting is fun so finally the day comes i'm ready to do my driving test and the guy takes me through what you would expect so you know driving on a main street driving on a residential road stopping pulling over to the side three-point turn and then at the end of the test he told me to park and this was the part that i was like kind of I don't know, a bit nervy for, but I, I, I know how to park always, so I was, like, really confident. But he just told me to do a frontward park, which is so easy. You know, just pull in. And that was it. I passed my G2. And that was last, yeah, last September or last August, around that time. And so I was really happy. I was like, yeah, finally. And then I had to wait a year to get my G. I knew that my G was coming up this summer. I was pretty, pretty ready for it. I've been driving on highways. You know, I'm comfortable. Um... I faintly remember my driving instructor last year told me that I should renew my license after getting my G2. Also, when I passed my G2, that woman there told me to renew my license um, because it was going to expire before I could get my G. But that kind of like, you know, it goes away from your mind. You're not really thinking about it constantly. Um, and then months go by. I'm driving. I'm living my best G2 life. And... Um, I get a notice in the mail that tells me my license is about to expire soon. But I honestly don't know what happened with that with that piece of mail. I think I probably put it in, in like a folder, like where I put my important documents in, and just kind of forgot about it. Because if you've seen my other YouTube videos, you know I'm going to school like full time, and. When you go to school like four or five days out of the week you're working a part-time job you're invested in church and your friends and stuff like that things like renewing your license just slips your mind on show i was living my life blissfully ignorant up until like two days ago so i go into rogers to get my new phone with my sister and they asked me for a piece of id Okay, so, go into the Rogers store. They ask me for a piece of ID. I give him my driver's license. He looks at it and says, oh, yeah, this is expired. And I'm like, what? And I look at it, and it expired on May 3rd. A few days ago, it was like May 18th or something like that. So, I was late by, like, almost three weeks. Um, when I heard that, I was like, oh that's probably really bad but I didn't know how bad let me tell you how bad so I searched up online and I was like searching up what to do when you need to renew your license or your license expires and it was like you can just renew it at any service Ontario um after like 90 days no not after 90 days within 90 days or within 180 days you're allowed to renew your license at any service Ontario and so I was like okay easily done so a few days rolls by it was like a long weekend so nothing was open and so I go to a service Ontario today this morning and going there I was like oh god please let there be a short lineup and there was and so I saw the lady at the front counter after maybe five minutes of waiting if not less and I give her my card and I'm like hi I would like to renew this and she was like oh you have a G2 license and I was like and she was like you can't renew that here you have to go to a drive test center and I was like okay and she was like and you might be bumped down to a G1 and I was like oh, come again so we had to drive to a drive test center and luckily it was only like 20 minutes away but there was that fear, you know, that I have to be, I would have to go from G1, G2 to G1. So that's like 
you know, a whole level down. And so I went to this drive test center. I didn't want to overthink it. So I just went there and I was ready to be, you know, my most polite self. And so I went to the front desk of this drive test center and I was like, hi, I would like to renew my expired uh, G2 license. She saw it. She said, do you have any other piece of ID? I said, no. And she took my license and she has it to this day. She has it forever. And she took it and she said, so you need to reapply for a G1 and retake the test. And I was like, okay. And she made me sign the form and I had to pay the certain amount that I'm not going to say out loud, but I will put on the screen. So I had to pay this amount and, um, as I'm signing the papers, I asked her, does this happen a lot? And she says, yep. So yeah, I got ready to do my G1 all over again. So I'm 21. The last time I did my G1 test was when I was 16. So I was kind of just like, you know what? It's been five years since I took it, sure. But I've been driving since then. It's kind of common sense knowledge, you know, it's fine. So I just go like immediately from talking to her, I go into the test examination area of this building and I go sit down for the test and now they're all on computers back when I back in the day they used to be on paper but now it's through computers so I sit down and I get ready to do this test and as I'm going through it I'm like first I'm you know I'm coming in I'm like confident I'm like g1 let's do this and then as I look at the questions I'm like <clears throat> do I know these things you know, when, when I drive, I don't think, oh my gosh, I need to be 60 meters from this. Or when I stop, I have to be this length away from this. Or how far I can change lanes from a pedestrian crossway. Like, these things don't occur to me. And I didn't even know the that snow, um, what is it? snow removal equipment needs to have like a blue flashing light. I was just like, oh, I think they have amber lights. I have no idea. And so, as you can tell from my explanation of this process I failed the first g1 test yep after five years I failed that first g1 and so to in order to pass you have to get 16 out of 20 questions right I got 14 out of 20 questions right so that means I got six wrong six too many honey so I was like it's okay we'll just do a retest so I lined up again waited another 10 15 minutes until my number was called went up to the exact same lady and was like i have to do a retest uh, thank goodness she doesn't she didn't make any commentary she was kind of nice and so she just you know gave me another thing to sign another amount to be paid number will be on screen so i was prepped for my second time but you know what the second time i went in different I went in with the power of prayer. So number one, I texted all my friends and I was like, oh my gosh, help me. Um, and I was, I also asked my dad to pray for me and he put his hand on my head and he was like, in Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen, go. And so he prayed over me and I was like, you know what, I've got this. The second test, I know what I'm doing. I studied a bit on my phone before going into it. I was ready. So I sit down and as I'm looking at the test, I'm like, yes, I know this question. I know this question. Yes, yes, answer, 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 answer. And I had a few that I was like unsure about and then that few turned into a bit more. And then the test passes and I got five incorrect. So if you're following, you need to only have four incorrect. So you have to get 16 out of 20 to pass. But unfortunately, my score was 15 out of 20. So with that one, I did not pass. So I was like, oh my gosh, okay, this is wonderful. And what made it more wonderful is the fact that I kept going so, you know, I have to keep doing the same test. So I'm keep, I'm sitting in the exact same, I'm sitting in the exact same chair in the waiting room every single time, taking these tickets. Same people are there. I'm pretty sure they recognize me as the girl who just, you know, kept failing. My dad, you know, his voice carries. So when he was like, did you pass? And I was like, no, people like saw, people looked, people knew. So my shame was public. Um, so yeah, so I applied again, so I waited again, another 15 minutes, still praying, still studying on my phone, feeling very discouraged. I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here all day, like literally. Like there's a point in the first two tests that I was just like, you know what, who cares? Like I already know I failed this, let's just keep just tapping random stuff. Like I was just so done, but it was okay. So I applied for the third time, went to a different lady, which was great, um, and had to pay the amount again 
and then I got prepared for the third time. Third time, did my dad pray for me? No. Did we all have hope for me? No. Um, my sister and my mom, my mom, I think, was texting sad emojis. My sister was laughing at me. So, not cool. I took these pictures while in the waiting room with my dad. This was me. This was my dad. We were done. So, third test goes in. I'm going in. I'm like, you got this, sir. You got this. And so, I sit down. I get ready for my test. The test is on. As I go through it, I'm taking time to read the questions and taking time to breathe. I remember a lot of the repeat questions that I've seen in the last two tests. And when I recognize them, I know the right answer. I'm going through it. And as I go through it, I'm like seven questions down, 10 questions down, 12 questions, 14, 15. And it's getting down because you know there's 20 questions. And so by the time I get to 19, two more questions left, I'm like, yo, I've passed. 18 so I already passed but these last two ones I want to get them right I got them wrong so I got two out of 20 wrong but that means my total score was 18 out of 20 which means I passed yay finally on the third try she passed her g1 test at the age of 21 oh my gosh praise the lord it took me three tries and not four or five or six um actually fun fact one of my aunts took seven tries to get past not her g1 because back in the day they didn't have that but seven tries to get her driver's license so i'm still ahead of the game <gasps> but yeah so that happened um so what now now that i have my g1 i'm gonna go through the same process of you know getting a g2 test and once that's over with getting my g except i don't have to wait this time so i don't have to wait in a year in between everything I can just keep you know rolling them out so hopefully by the end of the summer I will have my G license this will be put to rest I can sleep peacefully and this whole saga will have passed and I can tell my future children you know what I passed with one try and then my husband will probably laugh and be like she's lying but yeah that happened and it was it was really tough I'm not gonna lie like the way I'm telling the story it seems very animated very fun but in reality when I was sitting in the waiting room like after failing twice I was literally just like like I was just so unimpressed and so upset and so like it's so depressing you know like failing twice like really really at least I got all the signs right like I didn't have to do that just the knowledge part um and so it was just really depressing in that waiting room it's just like not fun in drive test centers you know there's so much like there's a smell of failure a smell of fear a smell of anxiety and it's just not a great feeling so getting out of there with the sun shining on my face i was like wow it was like i was in jail and had just been released but yeah that was really really fun for me to have to experience that and to have all that hard work that we talked about getting my g1 when i was 16 getting that g2 finally with the uh, lessons that i paid for that's that's all gone that that's kind of waste but whatever paying more money for this man like I'm gonna have spent so much money by the end of the summer booking these tests and stuff but you know what through it all okay so in the bible I think it's in Romans I think um it says um when we go through periods of suffering suffering produces perseverance perseverance produces character and character joy and so while I go through things like this suffering you know I felt very tried right going through it I was like oh my gosh Lord give me the strength uh, the energy the wisdom to endure this um, sitting in the car with my frustrated father you know not fun but I learned perseverance I did not lose my cool I would talked in very peaceful tones I even unlocked you know a few phones with the Rogers lady in the waiting room I was productive um, I did my makeup this morning I look fantabulous not that it matters because people just saw my shame um, and yeah so just learning that and learning you know humility right humility and patience um, and joy at the end of the day joy when I finally got it like a G1 means so much more to me now that I see how much it took to get it and I'm not gonna forget to renew my license ever in my life because I'm not going through this again um, and so yeah and that builds up my character because at the end of the day you know I'm stronger for it I'm wiser for it um, I'm you guys can fill in the blank here give me a word I, I'm something stronger 
Um, and you know, at the end of the day, my hope is in Jesus, who never fails, who's coming back, who has unfailing love, who you know still loves me despite all this crap that I've done, and he sees me as redeemed, and I can still have an amazing day and amazing week even though this happened, and I can warn you guys, don't let your license expire. Goodness gracious, don't let all of that hard work go to waste like I did, okay? Learn from my lesson, be smart. I can eat knowing that I am the new holder of a G1 license, like five years later, yay. Also, the fact that this is my worst day compared to people out there who, you know, are dying, they're trying hard to survive, they have, you know, monotone um, problems or financial um, breakdowns or family problems or relationship problems or you know sicknesses diseases like I don't have that like I'm a healthy person who's going through troubles with her driving license whatever that's such a privilege man so just seeing it in new light and knowing that like if this is my trial right now that it's, I'm pretty blessed is awesome thank you for listening to my TED talk so I'm gonna keep finishing this food and um, I hope you all have been encouraged, inspired. You know, if you have never had this happen to you, feel very encouraged, very happy, okay? And um, I hope that, yeah, you learn from my mistake. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening and watching and supporting. Like, comment, subscribe for more of these uh, depressing but then enlightening stories. Oh, so on brand. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye! I also forgot to mention it's a good thing because now I know all these different rules that I had forgotten in five years. So, yay.